Children are genetically linked to their parents, and they're the embodiment of their love. Every couple in childbearing age hopes to have a healthy baby. Health is the best present that parents can offer their children. However, have you ever heard of a disease called thalassemia? It has a high incidence and can seriously threaten your child's health. Globally, about 350 million people are carriers of the thalassemia gene. It is a genetic disease caused by genetic defects that results in disorders of globin synthesis. Unlike general anemia, thalassemia is mainly caused by a decrease in the amount of alpha globin or beta globin in hemoglobin which helps to carry oxygen in red blood cells. Poverty is often linked to beta thalassemia, which is the more common of the two types of thalassemia. Children with alpha thalassemia major would develop edema in a second or third trimester of pregnancy, and they usually die in utero or soon after delivery. Children with beta thalassemia major often develop anemia and hepatosplenomegaly at three to six months after birth. This is usually accompanied by jaundice and dysplasia. These children require blood transfusions every 20 days on average, and daily injections or oral drugs. At present, a longer-term treatment which is available for children with beta thalassemia is transplantation of hematopoietic stem cells, but this is expensive. Thalassemia has become an important factor in determining the economic status of many families. Treatment of this disease, whether through blood transfusions, drugs or transplantations, has made families poorer and has returned them to poverty. It has a serious impact on families and society, and it has also become a major public health concern throughout the world. The most cost-effective strategy to prevent and control thalassemia is to decrease the birth of affected newborns. Historically, Cyprus, Italy, and other economically developed countries, as well as Guangxi, China, and Thailand, which are economically developing regions, have successfully applied a strategy to significantly reduce the birth of affected children with thalassemia. So how can we keep children and their families away from the burden of thalassemia and avoid these tragedies? First of all, we need to fully understand the genetic disease of thalassemia as well as its mode of inheritance. Thalassemia is an autosomal recessive genetic disease. Let us take beta thalassemia as an example. If both parents carry the same mutation of thalassemia gene, then there is a one-fourth probability that their children will have intermediate or severe thalassemia. Secondly, we recommend that couples in childbearing age should be screened for the thalassemia gene before they marry. Additional testing should be carried out during pregnancy and a prenatal period. All couples should be aware and fully understand their thalassemia carrier status. Both spouses must be informed of their reproductive risks and effectively assist clinical diagnosis and make up for any missed inspections caused by routine screening for thalassemia. Prenatal diagnosis for high-risk populations and effective prevention of the birth of children with severe thalassemia have been carried out in projects through cooperation with many hospitals and scientific research units. For many years, BGI has been committed to the prevention and control of thalassemia. In 2012, it was the first company to launch a high-throughput sequencing platform-based thalassemia genetic testing service, which was capable of screening for more than 500 thalassemia types in one test. This made the procedure safe and efficient. The rate of missed detections was low, and the service was able to improve the prevention and control of thalassemia effectively. So, how should we carry out thalassemia genetic testing? First, the subject must consult a doctor, fill in both the test application and inform consent forms under the guidance of the doctor, and then complete a sample collection. Secondly, after receiving the test report, the next step of diagnosis and treatment will then be performed under the guidance of a doctor. 
to prevent and control thalassemia. The focus is on prevention, so that all babies can feel the care from their parents before they're born. We strongly recommend screening for the thalassemia gene, which will block the transmission of thalassemia disease genes and jointly realize the abolition of severe thalassemia in our population.